So Iman, uh, I wanted to ask you, how has your relationship with Allah changed over the years and how has it impacted your worship and your life? Okay, that's a deep question. So I'd say the, but the first 30 years of my life, I didn't have a relationship to Allah. I was born and raised Muslim and I, I did the usual fasts and the prayers, but I really didn't have a relationship. There was no connection to the Quran. There was no connection to Allah. Um, and then in, the, in my 30s, I went through a divorce. And while I was trying not to let my family fall apart, um, I did every type of research I could do. I read books on relationships. Uh, I really tried to save the marriage for the sake of having that whole picture of, you know, this, the family picture was, meant a lot to me. Um, and it was then that I discovered my relationship to Allah. I decided to read the Quran for the very first time. So I'm an Arab, but I can't read in Arabic. Um, I can understand a little bit of Arabic. So I had to I had to listen to the Quran in Arabic while reading the English translation to fully understand what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was saying. Mm. And that was, it's, and it's actually special because it was just before Ramadan that all of this had happened. I decided that I was going to read the Quran for the very first time. Um, I only knew the small surahs for praying, like the Qulhu al So this was the first time, and this was back in 2007, that I decided that I was going to take that step towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it was then that the relationship to the Quran was built and the relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was built. And uh, it completely transformed my life. It transformed my prayer. It transformed how I dress. It transformed how I spoke, my relationship to other people. Um, it, and then reading the Quran, there was one particular ayah that kind of stood out and became like my lifeline, Every, anytime anything happened in my life, that was the ayah I always went back to. Um, and it's in Surah Al-Baqarah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعَسَى أَن تَكْرَهُ شَيْءً وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ So perhaps you dislike something, but it's good for you. And perhaps you like something and it's not good for you, and Allah knows and you, and you don't know, right? So while I was going through the divorce and I was reading that in the Quran, it was at that moment that I decided that I was going to submit, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he knows that maybe this is good for me, I was just going to submit. And because of the divorce, I was actually able to, again, completely transform my life, my relationship to Allah, relationship to others, my relationship to the Quran. The following year I put on hijab, I wasn't wearing hijab before that. Um, everything changed, just my perspective on life changed uh, and my ability to handle calamities changed. And so every time I go through any hardship, because fast forward another seven, eight years, I became allergic to peppers and that completely like messed up my life. I can't eat. And, and I am very sensitive. I have high histamine uh, to a lot of food. So I can't, I don't eat normally like other people do. Um, and so that sensitivity to food and that hardship that I go through of not being able to eat like everybody else, if it weren't for that ayah, and if it weren't for the relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I think I'd be on antidepressants because it's mm -hmm. it, some of the calamities have just been really difficult to go through. Mm 